What's up, people? We are back with more of Danganronpa. In the previous video, we finished the prologue, so I think uh, we're going to be continuing now at starting at chapter 1. So, yeah, um, the rules were kind of explained to us in uh, the previous video, which is the setup for it is just, oh my freaking god, it's absolutely freaking brutal. So, yeah, without further ado, I just really wanted to get into this and start playing, so let's continue. Uh, yes. Exactly that. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze, and my breath caught in my throat. As I thought about that, I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. Chapter 1 To Survive Daily Life Oh my god. But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was a sharp and? words. So, what are you going to do now? Hey. Just stand around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. R right! She's right! Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. To forget such a simple fact. I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed! You hear me? Please, someone hit me! I can't forgive myself! Somebody hit me! Punish me! Huh? Jesus. If you have to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However... Perhaps... What if... Uh, what, what, what is the mission exactly? Stupid... Idiot! To look for a way out! Duh! What the... And we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him! But... But, before we all do that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True. If we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might actually happen again. Shit. Alright, so then... Fine. Then let's hurry up. And check out the stupid rules already! Alright, what are the rules? Hope's Peak Academy, the e-handbook for Makoto Naegi. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Oh, that's gonna be a really important thing. Like, I don't know, people might... If there's some sort of punishment, if, for example, at the end of the day you don't have your own handbook with you, then I don't know, people might might start stealing each other's handbook or something like that. Like, there's gotta be a significant meaning behind the fact that their everybody's name shows up on their own e-handbook, right? Because if, if it doesn't matter whose e-handbook you have, as long as you have one, they wouldn't give uh, put your name on it, so there has to be a reason behind it. Then, from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. Right. An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on all of us. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving the campus is an unacceptable t use of time. Hmm. Second one. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Number 3. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Oh my god. So you can only sleep in your own room basically. Wow. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Like, I have a feeling that 
When people know all of these rules, they're obviously going to use it against each other, right? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Number 6. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. What do you mean discovered? Huh. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. And that's the seventh rule. <laughs> like lucky number seven. Yeah, if we need more, more will be added. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around! This is bullshit! What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me! <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However... That's true, like, it, it, it's not mentioned what the punishment is. But, uh, if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. It's not a freaking video game. Oh, well, it technically is, but damn him. Uh, Yo. I... Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... So what? What? I've made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die in here. <sighs> None of that made much sense to me. But you are saying you will follow the regulations. Is that it? That's true. Ah? Uh, ah, uh, well, yeah. I guess you're right. Um, hey, um... I have a question. For regulation number six. What do you think it means exactly? Oh, God. Six. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. So there are two sort of terms here that Monokuma didn't really explain before, which is becomes blackened, which I guess is just a term for someone who has killed someone, right? Because anyone who kills becomes blackened. So yeah, once you've killed someone, you're apparently blackened, not sure what the hell that means, and you will graduate unless they are discovered. So it's not like the moment you kill someone, you're just let loose. There's apparently a still a time period after you've killed, maybe you have to wait 24 hours or something after you've killed and not be discovered. So be discovered is I guess finding out that people find uh, just basically found out that you killed someone. I'm guessing that's about the best solutions that I can come up with given the information, limited amount of information that we have right now. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered. I was wondering about that myself. <laughs> it's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But, but, but what, why? Why do we ha have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> don't jab at me! Give me a break. That was actually, I skipped it a bit too fast, but the face that she had, it was half blushing and half, I don't know, like she was enjoying herself, like creepily enjoying herself. I don't freaking know, that was a really weird face. More like a full-on stab. Hmm. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murderers and whatever. Okay. So that we can. So now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True. We need to find out exactly where we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it. Damn straight. Okay. Then let's all start looking around. Hm. I'll be going alone. What? 
What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hm. Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Oh my god. Like, he is not wrong, obviously. He is not wrong. Definitely not wrong. But, he's already cutting himself off from the group so early. You know, I, I have a feeling that somewhere, like, we, there are 16 people or 15 people in total. Let me try to think of, about the... Because I'm trying to think whether it's 15 including us or 15 without us. Um, 5, 5, 4. I think that's how the introductions were, right? First, the first 5, then the second 5, and then there were 4. So that's 15 including us. So there's 15 students in total. But I feel like at some point, we're just going to sort of be breaking up into several, uh, several groups. Or just everybody for themselves individually. I don't know. But this guy is definitely just taking it me against the rest of the mentality and approach. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Hold on what? a second. Wait. Hold on a second. That would never... The thing about it is, yeah, if they all stick together, theoretically nothing could happen, right? If someone were to for some reason try and kill someone with everyone present, they got discovered, right? So despite the fact then the killing didn't pay off, then they killed someone, but they're not going to graduate because they got found, they got discovered. So you have to kill in secrecy as well. So I guess that's something that... If, I, don't, I don't know if they all realize that, that that could be a possibility or whatever, but you know, people all have different mentalities, different mindsets when it comes to an approach to, to this situation. So if one person starts to split off from the herd immediately, several more will follow and that's just how it's gonna go. So that guy already set the pace. So it's already sort of out of the question that we all stick together, kind of. I mean, the other 14 could still do it, but eh. I don't think uh, they, they, they even realize that that is like a way of sort of trying to secure the fact that nobody is going to kill each other. But, you know, you can never guarantee. You can't sleep with 14 people in the same room. And um, because everybody has their own dormitory, I think, or whatever. But I don't know. We shall see. What? That would never... Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um... B but... <laughs> so, I'm simply acting in accordance with the, what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on! Like hell I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? What? The fuck's that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant, they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. I'm gonna kick your ass. Stop it! We shouldn't fight. What? The fuck you just say? You're some kind of goody goody little bitch! You wanna throw down? Who do you think you are, huh? Talking to me like that. You think you're my fucking dad or something? N no, I wasn't. You son of a bitch. Fuck you. Holy shit. W wham! Did he really punch us? He punched me. And I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. Freaking one punch man. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly there right in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten. The kind of people I'd been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade before it finally cut out completely. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... The heck? Huh? Where am 
sky. As if I had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Uh, open the handbook menu by pressing the F1 key. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info in the report card section. At certain points, maps and truth bullets may not be available. You can also save and load game data under the system section. Ah, that's what I need. Finally, press the F2 key to review the transcript. This records all pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. Ha, huh, okay, let's let's check it out. F1, um, map, it's not available right now. Truth bullets, review evidence and witness accounts you've made a record of. Uh, what was the map? Review the layout of Hope's Peak Academy. This will help guide you to specific locations throughout the school. Presence, res uh, review whatever personal belongings you have on you. What does that do exactly? We have nothing on us. We have there are there are 114 possibilities and we have absolutely nothing. Uh, report card. Review the report cards for each student at Hope Peak. Are we still like going to take classes and whatnot? No, right? The report card just must mean something else. Alright, so there are 15 students indeed. Celeste. Uh, all their information. Ultimate gambler. Hmm. Why is her chest like 31? What? Why? Why is that on there? Like height, weight. Okay, chest. Is there also a chest for guys? All right, Leon. He also has a chest. What does that mean exactly? Like how long your chest is? I've never. I don't think I've ever seen it on like an ID or passport or or anything where where you're supposed to put down your your measurements and that sort of stuff. I don't know. That doesn't sound familiar to me. Maybe it's just me being stupid. Probably it actually is. Um, uh, ultimate lucky unlucky students. All right. Well, those are the report cards. I'm I'm just trying to go through this fairly quickly, but it's okay if you want to skip through this because it's kind of inf important information for me to know. Some people that you know want to really follow the game in depth as well and really understand like the things that we have to do inside the game might be interested in watching as well but i understand if you want to skip through this so the regulations review the rules and regulations that must be followed i think we this is the one we already saw so no need to go through that again all necessary functions for a proper school life have been provided here this system we can save load transcript that's an important thing uh, that was the f2 button i believe the f2 button uh, system section finally press it that's basically just, I, I guess, the previous text that was? Yeah, okay. So if we want to... If someone said something curious or important and we weren't quite sure about that, we can press the F2 and read it back in there. Alright. Uh, tab, we can discover all sorts of stuff. The surveillance camera. A surveillance camera? I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. We're not allowed to mess with the cameras, so I'd better make sure I don't touch it. Alright, uh, the windows. There's some kind of metal plate mounted here. Uh, what the hell is this? A towel? And some kind of lint roller. Oh, I didn't see the handle. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? Um, anything else? The bed? There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. Really? It seems awfully like pointy to at the at the, the like the edges and everything like it, it really looks box shaped or what's it called it's not a triangle god what is the shape called that i'm thinking Re rectangular i think that's it all right was there anything else on the left side um the this this thing the desk the bureau it looked like something is in the drawer it's a a toolkit it must be brand new it's still in shrink wrap. I don't really read it, need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. We might need it eventually. There was like, uh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, the, I saw like the blue thingy on there. I don't think we can go through that. Alright, the door. You can click on this, which you already kind of know what it is. Some kind of monitor. Ah, uh, something on the table. Is that our keys? This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine. 
right? I'd better hang on to it for now. Right, um, anything else? Whoa. Can we actually walk as well? No, WSD, alright. What the hell is this? There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's locked, uh, lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night time. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a tool kit. Wow. Couldn't be more stereotypical or sexist or whatever, kind of, I guess. The sewing kit includes a map of the uh, body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. Wow. So he's, he's actually sort of like giving weapons and actual advice as to like, girls, in case you didn't know where to, or how to kill people with the equipments that I just provided you, I have given you a detailed map with that of all the places that are very vulnerable to the needles that I provided you or something like that. One stab will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. It's really interesting how he sort of... How they've set it up in a way that he's actually... He's sort of promoting for us to kill each other, right? But he's also... He hasn't put us in like a completely unsafe environment. Like for example, he really made this... Our own room and our own dormitory very safe. So I guess he's sort of... It's all about being when you're outside of your room. So that, so that at night time you don't have to worry about being killed. Unless you screwed up yourself. So for example losing your own key that's just your own fault i guess you kind of deserve to die then or something or at least you made yourself a, an easier target but at least he 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 wants us to have a good night's sleep so i guess that's a good thing you know i crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash hmm all right is there anything else there's another door here it looks like this door leads outside it's locked so some of the rooms have locks, huh? Alright, this is another door. Let's see, is there anything I missed? Something in this table? A trash can. Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trap door or hidden compartments or anything. All that's in the trash is the paper I wadded up and threw away. Nice! Oh, we got one coin! Got a coin. I don't know what the coin is for, but we got it. Anything else? I don't think so. We got. We already looked at the lint roller. Everything else. It's kind of. I was hoping. I mean, the it, when you press tab, if you keep pressing it, it just just disappears. So it only whenever you press tab, it just sort of pops up for two seconds, and then you have to memorize. So it doesn't stay on up longer for two seconds. So which is why I'm sort of pressing it the button a lot. This would appear to be the bathroom. Rattle, rattle. Huh? It's not opening. Occupado. I guess it's locked. I think I'm starting to understand now. This room must be... Sleeping anywhere other than a dormitory will be seen as sleeping in Clash and punished accordingly. So this is our own dormitory. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. The next question is, what's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out of here. Alright, um, I guess, wait, I can press R, leave the area. As even though this is like our safe zone, I guess we kind of want to find out what everybody's up to. I don't think everybody's like hacking each other to pieces and bits right now. Because you have to kill each other in secret, so that's just not going to happen. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others. But there was someone waiting for me there. It was like some uh, something out of an old TV show. Wham! Ah! Who is it? Which girl? 
Oh, it's our pop sensation idol. Oh, oh. Sayaka? Sorry, are you okay? I I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I'm really... Uh, look at the picture on the door. It's like a 2D art. Uh, pixel art of ourselves. And then our own name on it. So they actually like show you on the outside like whose room is whose. So there's a lot of information. I'm just kind of looking at the screen, soaking it all in. Like it actually mentions the chapter and the time, even though it's currently unknown. It's actually the background music on the right side. Kind of funny that they showcase that. That that might mean that it's it. I don't know. They either put it there for just like eh, it's it's something or it's fun or something, or it could have significance meaning. But for now, it just I guess you just sort of see the, the what is it notes. What is it called when you see like the bars go up and down, up and down? It's, is it the notes? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, she's completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good then. But are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you. That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the Makoto. beginning. Makoto. Uh oh. Uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong That's here. Good. I was kind of worried. Th thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um. Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Are we having a meeting or something? Um, listen. Well. If you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more efficient if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we, we'd each found out. So does that mean I'm almost? it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. What if this is, is what if this is just a trap, huh, Sayaka? What makes you think I'm going to trust you? Okay, I have no reason to doubt her so far. All right, so we can actually walk around. This is Mondo's room. Oh my god, does he really have to be right across the hall from me? Like, screw that guy. He just surely freaking punched us. The only thing we do is just like, okay, let's not fight. And then he responds to my telling him or just, you know, civilized and politely requesting him not to fight by punching me in the freaking mouth. Holy shit. It looks like there's some kind of nameplate. The door themselves all look pretty much the same. Alright, so this is Mondo, uh, Taka, Kyoko. I'm actually, it's kind of interesting to find out who lives where. Sayaka is right next door, oh yeah. And then uh, Byakuya, Junko, Toko, uh, Ch Chihiro, Celeste, Aoi, and Sakura. There's more here, Leon. Yashuhiro and the, the big guy, Ifumi. Right, I don't know where I am right now. Is this the cupcake room? What the hell? Everyone's meeting up at the dining hall. I should head there myself. But there, wait, I'm actually sort of looking outside now, right? There are trees there. This is the bathroom, I'm guessing. Male, female, somewhere. Right. Probably... Rattle, rattle. The door won't budge. It must be locked and probably not accessible. What are these parts are like really cut off and stuff? Like I thought we were supposed to or that we were free to explore everywhere. Yet some parts are re restricted apparently. I love to find out what uh, where those stairs lead. But there's no way to get past the gate. What's the point of having stairs if you're just going to block them off? 
I guess eventually we'll be able to uh, get past there. Wow, so this is the laundry, bath, uh, this is gate, Hope's Peaks Academy, and this is the dining hall. Cleverly um, the sign there. Alright, let's get inside. <laughs> 